And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For my favorite deck, as y'all know, this is Teemo Wayfinder. I uh, originally built this deck, um, I don't know, a month or so ago to play a mid-range Teemo deck, like where it's not just, um, you know, not just an aggressive deck that has Teemo in it, but a mid-range Teemo deck and really a mid-range puff cap deck. That's the thing is like just finding ways to actually win games with puff caps reliably. It's pretty tough. And so that's why uh, that's why we built this deck. Uh, so the point of the deck we have, uh, you know, we're trying to give our opponent lots of puff caps. So besides Teemo, we got the puff cap peddler and the chump lump. They can also make mushroom clouds. Um, but we need to get Teemo in play. We need to get a lot of Teemos in play. And so that's why this is Teemo Wayfinder, because we have Kinku Wayfinder, that if we hit the Allegiance, we get two one-cost allies from our deck, which are one-cost allies, are only Teemo. That's the only thing. So if we hit the Allegiance, we get two Teemos uh, into play. All right, we're all the way up to 24 Ionia cards, the most Ionia cards we've played. Uh, so it's a little over 50% chance to, well, you know, a good amount over. I suppose, a um, uh, chance to get, uh, to ha have Wayfinder hit the Allegiance. Um, the new thing is I'm putting in a Stand United. Stand United can protect our Karma or our Teemos or anything else, uh, our Peddlers. You know, like, because we have, we have stuff that we don't really want to get into combat with. You know, we, we don't really want to block with Peddler. We don't really want to block with Karma or Teemo. Um, and so I figured like a Stand United could maybe like let us block and then give them Barrier and that could be good. And that's the other thing about our deck. We're also playing Karma with the Teemo so we can have a good late game thanks to Karma. And if Karma flips or levels up, then we can cast like cast a Mushroom Cloud and it gives and we double cast it, give him 10 Poison Puff Caps. So that's pretty sweet too. Uh, we have Dawn and Dusk that we can get more Teemos. If we have a Teemo in play and then Dawn and Dusk it, we get three and attack with that. So that's what, that's what this is in here for. So anyway, here we go, Teemo Wayfinder, my favorite deck to play. Let's change our board. Let's get the Clifftop Monastery and uh, let's do the Poro. <clears throat> so high for this, yeah, this is awesome. Like, you don't usually get to win a lot of games with puff caps, but that's what that's what our deck's trying to do. You know, like if we can hit them a lot of times with Teemos. You know, we can give them 100, 200 puff caps. We get get those things to double up. All right, we'll keep the deny. Keep these two. And we got turn one Teemo. Dude, turn one Teemo on the play. It doesn't get any better than that. No, I think this is, a, I think this is good. I think it's, it's actually, it's a good for us to play against the slow decks. That's what we want to play against. The... The aggressive decks are really hard to beat. Um, opponent's a jerk. Killing Teemo. The super aggressive decks are pretty difficult to beat because um, we're, we're not fast enough. But against the slow decks, the longer the game goes, the more likely the puff caps will do a lot of damage. So the slow decks is actually... Like, that's a better matchup for us. Have a mushroom. Have three. I want to be able to protect Teemo with these things whenever we play Teemo. And also, I wanted to, like, if they were just going to go Mystic Shot, I wanted to, them to Mystic Shot the Green Glade duo, not the, not our Teemo. Run away, Mike. Yeah, they have a lot of removal, but that's okay. We have our own Karma, which would be good. All right, come on, Wayfinder. Oh, that's right. I only have the one other Teemo in my deck. Oh, I should have just—I should have just cast my Teemo in my hand. Yeah, I should have just cast the Teemo in my hand. Yeah, like this is even good because they have this thing that blocks my Teemo now. Yeah, this is even good. I—I I shouldn't even done that. This, this isn't good. Because then if I would have just played my Teemo, I would have like my Twin Disciplines to, to protect. <clears throat> my Peddler. Peddler is definitely going to be important. Me. 
All right, well, we're we're going karma. We're definitely going to be a karma deck right now. We can't really get through. Fortunately, Timo can't get through. This leaves my karma vulnerable to thermogenic beam. But that does get those out of here to help Teemo. No, why do they have to have another thermogenic beam? I've already played one. I was just hoping they didn't have a second. Ugh, that's bad. That was maybe just not a good play to leave my karma vulnerable like that. Where there is life, there is hope. Dang, they've they've had it all. We got one Teemo and a couple denies against five cards over there. I thought you'd never if they have an Ezreal, I'm in a lot of trouble. Their hand was awesome. Yeah, every turn, ever since turn one, they played the worst possible thing for me every single turn. Watch and learn. Ezreal Mystic Shots. That leveled up Ezreal. Dang, they had it all. Yeah, I I should have I should have protected Peddler and Karma more and not worried about Teemo. That game. That's I should have done is protected peddler and karma. Draven Ez. We'll get rid of the Green Glade duo and keep these. Basically, Green Glade duo, you know, how it, with just the one toughness, again, against the Ezreal deck, but this version of Ezreal do even does a better job of dealing one damage to stuff. So, learn my lesson. I'm going to not really rely on Teemo and try to Go Peddler plus um, Peddler plus uh, Karma. Oh, if 
Like, it's possible I shouldn't even play the Green Glade Duo on turn two so that I could have three mana for Peddler plus Twin Disciplines. I don't think it's too reliable to have Twin Disciplines on the Peddler block um, the Draven. I think that's kind of risky. Still have six mana. They got 19 puff caps now. Like next turn, I'll have double twin disciplines for the peddler. There we go. Take some damage. There. They're trying to play a whole bunch of uh, cheap spells and then, you know, like progress day to refill. Giving them a lot of puff caps is very good against progress day. Yeah, they can die at any time. They can just draw, draw enough puff caps at any time. You never know. So I want to keep both twin disciplines available. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go block, block. Maybe I'll just take the damage from Draven. I got ways to find him mushrooms. Let's boogie. Use you, pay it. All right, not protecting Peddler to give them, you know, more. Even more puff caps. Now we're cooking. That's annoying. Now Draven's leveled up. And I thought I was all ready. <laughs> That's annoying. Not dead yet, but they are going to be doing, they'll be doing more damage to my peddler. So we're denying the guillotine. It's our only way to get rid of that.
thought you'd never ask. Okay, Will of Ionia is not bad. To be able to bounce Draven. Pretty good. Now we're cooking. And that's perfectly fine with me, that that trade. Right here. They're up to 37 puff caps. Need them up to 40 now. Need them to draw 13 more, please. Leveled up Draven's pretty good. Double team -o. What the f is that? I want to dawn and dusk the Teemo and get two more. That would be amazing. But that's so risky because their deck has so much. Um, their deck has so much interaction. It's just so risky to do that. Like, is this even worth it? I don't know. No way. They grow up. No. Maybe not. Give them another three puff caps first, though. Slippery. If these connect, we're going 82, 164. It's a pretty big F. So yeah, if I, if I would have tried to Dawn and Dusk, they would have Mystic Shot in response. Well, now if it connects, it goes to 88. Ooh, 176. Double them up, 176. So, ah, stop. So, you know, 176 divided by 24 is basically seven. A little bit more than seven. And they're at, and they are at seven so they're an average why would they not play that pre they should have d done that pre-combat before before i gave them millions of puff caps all right so the first one they only got six not seven this one they only got six not seven so both those were below average they should not have drawn that card after I gave him all those puff caps. But yeah, GG's. That was pretty sweet. Teemo wins. The, hey, same matchup again. The uh, peddler, very important there. That peddler was key. And that was, that was my problem with the other game. I focused too much on Teemo and not on peddler and karma. I'll still keep Teemo, especially turn one on the play, we'll keep Teemo, but, uh, you know, we're going to be trying to protect this Karma. So unfortunately, they have a lot of things that kill Teemo in their deck.
Um, I mean, I guess it depends. Yeah, I mean, it depends on, like, how many cards they have and everything also. It's not just necessarily if you have... If you get them more than 150 puff caps, then they'll die in three turns. Um, you know, it, it all depends on... You know, if it's, like, real early and they have 30 cards left still... Chump Wumps. I, mean, I think I do this to take these these Chump Wumps out. Like, I don't want to take four damage. Turn. Third mystic shot. That must be nice. So they're only at where there is life, there is they're only at uh, nine puff caps. So I won't I won't do the Wayfinder, because if I do Wayfinder and we get the double Teemo, then they have static shock. Then they'd have Static Shock and be able to kill both Teemos, and that'd be a nightmare. Alright, it's so a discarded Mushroom Cloud, makes sense. Those Chump Wumps were amazing. <clears throat> that my opponent had. Those were amazing. You know, got him the three Mushroom Clouds. Or the four Mushroom Clouds get to get excited. Just have all the cards in the world. Got another Twin Disciplines back. Oh, that's good. Everyone here? Oh, but we missed. Uh. We missed. Remember the plan. I love that we're, you know, we we're going to be able to have two Teemos and protect them with the Deny. I may be bouncing my Wayfinder back to my hand and trying to replay it. That gives Ezreal two targets and draws him a card. It's their most expensive card also to hit with Deny, so we're just going to counter that. Gotten the Blades Edge, Static Shock, all their Mystic Shots, multiple Thermogenic Beams.
Too much stuff. So again, some PNZ card. I hope it's Puffcap Peddler. Like, all we know is that we have a PNZ card on top, and I think I hope it's Puffcap Peddler. I think that's my best one to hit, to draw. Yeah. Chump Wump wouldn't be bad. Yeah, Peddler or, or Chump Wump are probably my two best draws. So they have another thermogenic beam in hand. Or they could have like jury rig that was the zero mana jury rig after the progress day. shot was probably the worst PNC card because that doesn't kill Draven, doesn't kill Ezreal. Not a good card to draw. And it kept me from getting two Teemos. I guess they're just AFK. Looks like they got disconnected. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't have even attacked for two. I probably should have just passed. As far as like trying to get the most in while they're away from keys, I guess. I guess because um, you know we got a whole bunch of nothing over here. This, that's my only hope of winning this is they stay disconnected for a long time so yeah that was probably an unnecessary attack I don't think I'll, you know, like we're playing like the five games. I don't know if we'll count this. Probably won't count this one, right? Like this wasn't a game. It just keeps going like this. Looks like they're back. Time for the main event. still going to be really far ahead. They still have all those cards in hand. <laughs> Even with skipping all those turns, um, you know, like, we were both just drawing one card a turn, and it's not like I could really uh, get too far ahead. Alright, so we're back at a game now. We're playing a game again. Trying to Noxious Guillotine, I'll just bounce, so then the Noxious Guillotine fizzles. And I won't just tap out to play Peddler. Uh, I thought you'd never ask. Seven out of eight? No. So if I Thermogenic Beam, all I have to do is target this. 
And they'll flip. Why can't it be six out of eight? Forces them to have Blade's Edge. Oh, come on. Well, they did have Blade's Edge. They've already played a Blade's Edge this game. Should have lost this game anyway. So. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. It should have been a loss anyway. I wanted to dawn and dusk. I wanted them to to play something first. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Dawn and dusk. All right, one and two. All right, we'll see if we get to play something besides Ezreal. So far, we've played three Ezreal decks. And my Teemos have died quite a bit because of it. That last game, though, you know, if our... If... Yeah, it's a big if, but if our Wayfinder would have hit, there's a good chance we would have won that game. Like, even, even like, no disconnect. If our Wayfinder hits and we get the two Teemos, we would have had Deny to be able to protect them. They would have, you know, would have been attacking that turn. That's the thing on our deck, is we're... we're <laughs> You know, it's some high highs and low lows with um, with the Wayfinder. We're not always hitting Wayfinder. But when we do, it's amazing. All right, so probably the Undying Combat deck that we're going to be playing later. All right, getting rid of one Wayfinder and... Get rid of the disciplines. I really want to draw a Teemo to play on turn one here. No, we didn't do it. Definitely wanted turn one Teemo. Good to get the Teemo in play before we Wayfinder, because once we Wayfinder, then we can't play the Teemo from hand anymore. That's a jerk move. Scout never... 
Why is everybody killing our Teemo so much today? Like, Teemo's the nicest champion. All it, all it does is give you gives you mushrooms. Such a nice champion. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Wayfinder, stop whiffing. So duo plus peddler or karma? Guess I guess it's karma. Virtue guides me. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Their hand's kind of sad. We're just radiant guardian with nothing dying. Be in the play. That's a neat party trick. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Strike for justice. It is difficult to win with puff caps against Radiant Guardian. That is difficult. It will be done. But it will be done. Yeah, because then whenever the Radiant Guardian uh, comes back, um, then uh, it did, an ally did die this round. You know, like they had something die. Well, that's unfortunate. I kind of need that karma. I kind of needed that karma. Tell me mask, scare me tail, stop to die. Let's move. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Honestly, I shouldn't even be attacking. I should have just passed turn. Because that three damage doesn't matter, because they're going to just attack back and do five to me. Okay, never mind. They they wasted their turn anyway. Okay, good. Well, I guess it does matter because of puff caps. Okay, so yeah, because then now that two damage matters. So never mind. It does matter. Banish the unworthy. Unfortunately, they get to play another tough Radiant Guardian, another Lifesteal, because I am killing this thing. Um, it's it's like we might as we might as well kill the thing though because uh, it was gonna die anyway. It was in combat with the Chump Womp. It's not like I could just not block it because the Challenger card. Do I deny? If I'm going to be aggressive, I guess I need to deny. If we're going to try to win before the Radiant Guardian starts gaining a lot of life, it's basically I have, I have two options of like how I want to play this. It's either let the Radiant Guardian do a lot of damage and you know try to trade you know trade like both chump bumps for it eventually 
or what I was going to go for is get three damage in here and now put them to nine, give them all these mushroom clouds, and then my next turn I was going to block the Radiant Guardian with, uh, with my duo and then shoot the duo so they didn't gain the life and kind of hope that we could kind of get there, but looks like that's off the table. out some more. Boys, we got I fight for the oh man, they have two of them now. Alright, come on, Kinku Wayfinder. We need Kinku Wayf Wayfinder. Get double Teemo. Alright, single Teemo. The Demacia trailer? Uh, I don't believe so. Excuse you. I can't kill these things ever. Seven seven's tough. Also, I can't kill that thing. It's like these. Like maybe I can try to kill. Now I can have a peddler block one of those. Seven puff caps. They're just gonna be back up to twenty. We need dawn and dusk, or wayfinder. Wayfinder or dawn and dusk. I guess dawn and dusk would be the best. Dawn and dusk. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Can we do it? Can we do it? They have to draw 18 puff caps next turn. You know, because if we don't kill them this next turn, like, we're dead. So they have to draw 18 puff caps. They're at 85 right now. So 85 doubled is 190 times 2 is 380 times 2 is 760. Is that right? Oh, it's 340, 680. Okay. Not 390, 340. 340. All right, 680. They got to draw 12. Come on, draw 12. 42! <laughs> oh, it drew 42. Jackie Robinson Puff Caps. Round 42. Out of six, 680. <laughs> epic game. What an epic draw with that Dawn and Dusk. That was definitely the best card to draw. Wow, that was epic. 42 Puff Caps. <laughs> so yeah, whenever they're yeah, basically after Timo when Timo levels up, Timo just dub like whenever Timo hits the opponent, Timo doubles the puff cap. So they had 85 already, and then we hit him with three leveled up Timo. So 
we did 85 the first one got doubled to 190 then that doubled to or uh, to 170 and then that doubled to 340 and then that doubled to 680. All right, Zed Hecarim. Uh, let's keep that for Zed. And we'll get rid of the jump up too. We'll just, let's try again. Let's try to get turn one Teemo. Yeah, turn one Teemo. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that you can only go up to 20 life. Can't go up any higher, thankfully. Otherwise our opponent would have definitely gone up higher. this at all because that means they have the dark scourge combo or death mark whatever or the death mark combo no Timo I know Timo you're just trying to help All right, come on, Wayfinder. Oh no, they have a Shadow Assassin? Hmm. Our last, let's see, so we had one, two, three, four. We've had four Ionia cards in a row. That means this is probably gonna whiff, right? Let's go with the Green Glade duo first. We'll see, you know, hopefully. Hopefully this is like a PNZ card, and then the next one's Ionia. No, that was Ionia. Come on, still be Ionia. Yes! We hit. Yeah, I figured they probably wouldn't block Teemo anyway. That's a lot of damage coming in. Pup caps. Too much is so fun. So vulnerable, so much risk. So much. Uh, ooh. Yeah, just so much risk and everything. Nah, Hecarim, you can you can just go ahead and go. We don't need you. Get on out of here. Alright, opponent surrender. We are gonna untap Dawn and Dusk Teemo again. Try to get four Teemos. Unfortunately they didn't, they didn't let us do it. So let's see, they had they had 15 puff caps, so they would have gone to you know 30, 60, 120, 240. Would have gotten them to 240 puff caps there if they didn't have any interaction. <laughs> Poor Hecarim. But yeah, there we go. That was See, this is just a fun deck to play. It's not it's not the best, but it's still it's still very good. It's very it's definitely competitive. It's very competitive. Uh and you get to do some really cool stuff um like that last game. Uh That Dawn and, you know, that fourth game. I mean, that Dawn and Dusk draw was amazing. That was such a good draw. Um but yeah, so that's that's the that's the deck. I mean, we just kind of continually, you know, taking out a PNZ card for another Ionia card here and there. Like I originally, whenever we first started playing this, I had like sixteen or seventeen Ionia cards, and so like we hit less than half of the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just kind of keep on trying to get more Ionia in here for the Wayfinder. Um, basically, but I mean, we want we need Teemo and we need Peddler and we need Chumpwump, so that's like nine that you, that we need. Um, and then our others, uh, the other seven are just these removal spells, Mystic Shock, Get Excited, and Thermogenic Beam. So like that's, that's like the spots that we can keep taking stuff from. If we want to keep, keep trimming down those removal spells. We didn't get to do anything with Stand United. Um, 
didn't get to. But uh, Dawn and Dusk was awesome. I wonder if we should be playing three Dawn and Dusk. The thing is, Dawn and Dusk is so vulnerable. It's so it's so easy to break up Dawn and Dusk with just a removal spell. Um, you know, so like against like those Ezreal decks that we were playing against at first, Dawn and Dusk really isn't any good in those matchups. But... All right, but uh, there we go. So that's Teemo Wayfinder. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, uh, you know, leave those comments. Let me know what's the most puff caps you've ever gotten anybody to draw. 42. That's the new record. That was That's the record that I, I've never gotten anybody to draw 42 puff caps before. Before, my, my record was like 14. <laughs> so 42, triple that up. All right, but that's it here for Teemo Wayfinder. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.